there's a lot of people that say they love God, which I believe that. I believe there's a lack of the fear of God because it's one to love God but it's one to actually fear God. Have re and all that means is to have reverence, to, have, to fear God, all it really means is say, I have respect, I have, there, there is honor towards him, real reverence for God. Zechariah chapter 10, verse one, it says, ask the Lord for rain. In the time of the latter rain, the Lord will make flashing clouds he will give them showers of rain, grass in the field for everyone. Now, prophetically, this is just a call for also restoration over God's land, over God's people. I'm talking about the real people of God. Amen. So there's, there's restoration. And he says, ask for the rain. God gives rain to the seed. He will continue to provide. And no matter what's going to happen, no matter what's going on, can I tell y'all, we do have to prepare. We prepare in what God has placed in our hearts. And I believe God will continue to do what he needs to do. But I'm going to share this second part because God is not pleased. And the way to please him is to truly fear him. I believe there's a lot of people that say they love God, which I believe that. But I believe western christianity or just christianity in general i believe there's a lack of the fear of god because it's one to love god but it's one to actually fear god have re and all that means is to have reverence to have to fear god all it really means is say i have respect i have, there, there is honor towards him real reverence for god for his house his presence it's not a show. It's not a performance. We don't just use him just to rub the Bible and ask for a couple wishes. There's, there's, there's obedience to unlocking these blessings. I'm not talking about salvation. Salvation's free. Okay, salvation's free. But obedience. Verse 2. For the idols speak delusion. The diviners envision lies and tell false dreams this is happening in church this is happening in the church y'all okay i'm not just talking about uh people that are not saved we have to discern these people and these spirits and they can repent and god can change their, their mind and their heart they comfort in vain therefore the people went their way like sheep they are in trouble because there is no shepherd there are these people might look like shepherds but they're not really shepherds my anger is kindled against the shepherds says the lord and i will punish the goathers for the lord of hosts will visit his flock the house of judah and will make them as his royal horse in the battle this whole chapter is great but just for time's sake i'm going to skip over to verse 9 because i want to encourage us I will sow them among the peoples, and they shall remember me in far countries. They shall live together with their children, and they shall return. Here's God's promise. I will also bring them back from the land of Egypt, from a land of bondage, and gather them from Assyria. I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon until no more ruin is found for them. He shall pass through the sea with affliction and strike the waves of the sea. All the depths of the river shall dry up. The pride of Assyria shall be brought down and the scepter of Egypt shall depart. God is going to be able to allow these places that call themselves churches that operate out of pride. He is going to allow that to be sucked dry. No glory, no presence, no spirit of God. It's just a performance, but it's not his real presence. My heart is weeping because there's people that are really looking for a move of God. And all they see is performance and they're going to houses that have lights and a big stage and 
And just because there's a lot of people, God's presence is there. Test the spirit. Verse 12, so I will strengthen them in the Lord. God will strengthen you. Whatever season you go through, and they shall walk up and down in his name. If it's not about him, what's the point of being there? If it's not about him, what's the point? Says the Lord. So I'll strengthen them in the Lord and they shall walk up and down in his name, says the Lord. God is just really looking for people that truly want him. And I know he's doing it. I know God is really bringing people that are truly wanting to seek a real move of God. The real Jesus. And it just takes a handful of people. And I know those that in the spirit really see it. So whatever God wants to do, I truly believe God is shifting seasons. I truly believe God is calling his people as light in this world. As light to represent the kingdom like never before. So God bless you, family, because I'm just excited for the move of God of what he's going to do. And I'm excited to continue to partner with people that truly want to continue his continue to carry his presence like you don't just get slain at the altar on the floor but you carry that glory out this door wherever we go may the lord do what he has to do so father we thank you for stirring it up in this house thank you for stirring it up in this soil may you be exalted oh father and as we worship you god in spirit and in truth god thank you for working on our hearts our minds and our thoughts it's just between you and Jesus. Everyone has their own individual relationship with Jesus. So God, do what you got to do based on the season we're in. We honor you and we just love you so much, oh God. And we say this in your mighty name.